This week's adventure brings me to Ascutney Outdoors in Vermont for Flow State 2022. And then I spend a week traveling north to Nembafest 2022 up at Sugarloaf Mountain in Carabasset Valley. The old man did a lot of mountain biking these two weekends. Maybe a bit too much. This was one of many times where being in a van certainly paid off. As I looked out my window when I arrived at Mount Escutney, it was pouring. And those poor people up there in tents. And just as quickly as that rain started, it stopped and take a look at this double rainbow. This was definitely a sign of a great weekend to come. And slowly, people got out of their vehicles, started setting up their tents. And if you take a look at the sky, you just never know that it was raining as hard as it was. Welcome to New England. Fog rose Friday morning to Flow State 2022, Vermont's mountain biking festival of the year. The Escutney Trails and Outdoor Center is home to miles of hand-built mountain biking trails, nature trails, and in the winter, a small downhill ski center served by a T-bar. One of the coolest thing about these events is that you get to demo bikes. So I'm, uh, I've always ridden a hardtail mountain bike and this gives me a chance to ride a uh, full suspension. So I'm riding a specialized stump jumper. It's uh, got 29 inch wheels, which is bigger than I'm used to. It rides nice. The problem of course is uh, thinking about then having to buy one. So I'm not gonna ride it for too long. <laughs> Although the vast majority of trails at Escutney are traditional New England trails, this section, called Hayride, is a long, winding hill through the grass. And when I say traditional New England trails, I mean roots, rocks, and stone walls. This particular hellish climb allowed for a nice rest for the old man. Alongside me is what was once a tow rope for the mountain. I don't think it's in use anymore. The expo area not only included bike vendors demoing their newest rides, but some of Vermont's best mountains, as well as other vendors showing off their latest products. I got a chance to speak with Easy Wind Outfitters all the way from Richmond, Virginia, a family owned and operated hiking sock company. These folks offer some nice looking merino wool socks with unique designs. I had to pick up a couple of pairs. They told me they won't smell, <laughs> which is a huge bonus from my feet. So we have these merino wool socks that are thinner than some of the other socks that are out there and also um, colorful more bold than some of those other choices. They um, all have our branding on them. 
and they're odor resistant. Made in America, made my own company. They're temperature regulating, so they're warm in the winter and cool in the summer. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. You could wear them about seven days without having any stink. So you can get them online at um, easywindoutfitters.com. Easywindoutfitters. Yes. Easywindoutfitters.com and um, or you can check us out on social media on Instagram at easywindoutfitters. Where's the name come from? It's kind of a play on a Grateful Dead song and it kind of blends into the outdoor vibe so it kind of works together. Another sponsor of the event is the Borderlands Initiative of the Northern Forest Center. They've been promoting the mountain bikers mantra of ride with gratitude. It's essential for maintaining all of our ability to build trails and ride bikes on private land. What's going on? So I'm Joe with uh, yeah. Bike Borderlands. We are a program of the Northern Forest Center. And um, what we do is provide uh, marketing and uh, capacity building support for nine different nonprofit trail networks located in the Northern Forest. So um, everything from uh, Craftsbury Outdoor Center in the west to uh, Carabasset Valley. Yeah, in the sorry, east. Sorry, so in off. Vermont, we have Craftsbury Outdoor Center, um, Kingdom Trails, uh, in New Hampshire yeah. is Franconia area Nemba, yeah. Parker Mountain Trails in Littleton, New Hampshire, Bethlehem Trails Association in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, and Coas Trails in Gorham, New Hampshire. And we cross over into Maine, and we have Inland Woods and Trails, which used to be um, Mahusik Trails. Um, that's in Bethel, sort of near Sunday River. And then you make your way up towards uh, Sugarloaf, and the uh, Carabasset Valley Trails. Uh, Carabasset Valley Trails are going to be home to Nemba Fest next weekend. And Ride with Gratitude is essentially um, like a mountain biking code of ethics. So similar to a Leave No Trace ethic for um, hikers and people in the backcountry, um, we're trying to get people to do four things. Respect the gift, um, protect nature, and, um, and then our third uh, pillar of the Ride with Gratitude campaign is care for others. So like, be nice on the trail. Right? Recognize that if there's a family with young kids going slow in front of you, forget about your Strava time. You're like, hey, how's it going? You're doing great. Nice job climbing this hill. You're doing great. Cool. You mind if I have a pass? Um, and then be the example. That's the fourth pillar. And uh, any questions, you can reach out to us at bikeborderlands.com or find us on Instagram or Facebook. One of the main sponsors of the event is Mountain Flyer Magazine. Yeah, a magazine. With glossy pages full of bikes careening through the air in exotic locations. I get a year subscription for attending the event and it's one of the few print periodicals I get anymore. It certainly doesn't represent me careening through the air, but it's a lot of fun looking at those pictures. Penelope has chosen 427477. The weekend flew by. And before I knew it, I was on Interstate 91, heading up to Maine. The next few days was spent on the shores of Mooseluk Magantic Lake in a 1905 log cabin. It was a great way to rest up for Numba Fest coming up this next weekend.
Ah, NEMBAFEST, the annual festival of the New England Mountain Biking Association. The last time it was held in 2019, it was an almost zoo-like atmosphere at the Kingdom Trails of Northern Vermont. I'm not sure if it was COVID that killed it, or the sheer over-success. This year it's moved to Carabasset Valley in the High Peaks region of Maine. It's home to Sugarloaf Mountain. With attendance capped at 1,500, it was a much more subdued event than the last. And that's probably a good thing. The riding at Carabasset Valley is fast on the mostly machine-made trails. Oh, except when I ride them. I stuck mostly to the blue and the green trails. <laughs> the, the few times I rode the Black Diamond trails, I did a lot of hike up biking. The Nembefest organizers took the time to create a couple of routes that you could follow independently. There was a blue route, a green route, and a black route. And this afternoon, I took the black route up to Hurricane Knoll, past the warming hut. The climb up was amazing, and the descent down was even more fun. And just a quick reminder, if this is something you like, hit that subscribe button and like the video. It really helps the channel out quite a bit. Camping was in a dirt lot at the base of Sugarloaf Mountain. It was separate camping for RVs and tents. I gotta tell you, the uh, camping turned out to be the best part of the festival. Yeah. Yeah. My last day of the festival, I headed down to the expo area and I found good to go foods. I've used these guys quite a bit on my camping over the years and so I was interested to talk to them, find out what's unique about their product. Yeah, so good to go foods. Uh, we're at a Kittery, Maine. Everything you see here is handmade right in our own facility in Kittery. So we bring in all the ingredients, we cook everything just like you would a normal meal. Yeah. Yeah, the nice thing is we're using clean ingredients. We have lots of vegan options, vegetarian options. We have pescatarian options. We also are USDA approved for, for chicken. Uh, but again, we do all of our own manufacturing, which right. is something unique to our brand. Where in Kittery? Uh, we're on Route 1, just north of the Kittery Trading Post. Yeah, we've been around since 2014. You know what, and, and a lot of people look at this and they're like, oh, camp food, and yeah, it is camp food. Yeah. But at the same time, it's also real food. Yeah. We're cooking this stuff from scratch. It was a great week for Flow State in Vermont and Nemba Fest in Maine. Camping in the van, lots of great mountain biking, some time at the lake. And meeting a lot of like-minded people. I'm looking forward to doing this again next year. <laughs>